I'm Ricky Miner, and you're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. You and I were talking earlier. I said, what have you got going on? And you rattled off. I don't know how you keep track of all the things that you have, but can you give us yeah. like a Cliff Notes version of I'm, what's I'm, keeping you busy? I'm type A. Like, I, I, you know, I, I, write, I write notes every night. Like every night I sit down and I write a checklist for tomorrow. Yeah. And whatever didn't get done today will carry on tomorrow. And so I'm I'm real detailed and organized and I think that's a yeah, big that's a big uh, factor in I think why people call me because it's not that I'm not the only person that can do what I do. It's not you know, I don't have the cure to cancer and I'm the only one that has it, you know. So what have you people. got going on these days? What's keeping you busy? Well, I have this uh Just you know, seventy-five or a hundred things. All right. Top well, I'm doing the the <laughs> governor's award, uh, for the Oscars governor awards, and and they give awards to uh, uh, people who whose body of work uh, you know really uh, is um, uh, worthy of an Oscar. So there's uh, this this year uh, we have Debbie Reynolds, Spike Lee, and Gina Rowland, and I'm doing a show called. Um, uh, what was Shine a Light is the name of the show, and it's a show about uh, um, progress, r racial progress in America, or the progress of race in America. And it's a lot of artists on that, uh, including Bruce Springsteen, Sting, and John Legend, Pink, and a whole litany of other people. Uh, and then uh, out of that, we have Idol the, the next day, uh, where we have Hollywood Week. And then the next week, I'm doing uh, Kennedy Center Honors, a music director this year. So it's a big honor to do that, and it's uh, uh, it's it's like the Tonys, the Oscars, the Emmys, the Grammys, all wrapped in one, uh, because it has everything. This year's George Lucas, Carol King, Cicely Tyson, you know, it's like a lot of different people, and um, so you know we have to look at that a lot different. In case people don't know, know, musical director for a show like that means what? Well, you know, as music as as music director for shows like that, uh, you deal with first you deal with the production, and uh, based on budget, you decide or you go the opposite. Based on budget, you can decide how big the orchestra is, or you say for this job, this is what I would like this size orchestra, you know, uh, or this size band and singers, uh, choir, what these songs need. And then you work with your music contractor of the of the people that you want to hire that you think are the best people for the job and that are available. And then you go about working with the creative side of what songs should be sung, who should sing them. And then you work directly with the artists and their managers and and the and what your arrangement is and discuss that with them. And then you coordinate with production the rehearsal schedule of how much time do you need on stage? I mean, how, how much time do you actually need? Because they don't want you out there longer than you need. Yeah. And you don't want to sit out there with a rehearsal, one song an hour. Like my band doesn't need an hour to, to do a song. you know. So we have, you know, it's a well oiled -oil machine. So mo some people may not read music and they may need more days. We read and so we rehearse for a, a two hour special. All we need is one day. Okay, but from the time you you get the responsibility, you get the gig, mm -hmm. you're the MD for this show, this production, right. till the time it actually is done, recorded, you know, taped, right. whatever it is, how much time is that generally? I mean, you, you got more is than it, a week to put all that together, yeah, or is it's, it? it? No, it's it's uh, generally speaking, if a big production like that uh, is about three months out. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and and sometimes you'll get a call for something that's three weeks out, but. That's rare because yeah. they have to book the artists and right. their schedules fill up pretty quickly. Uh, I'm music director for Music Cares for Lionel Richie this year, and uh, and I do Clive's Grammy party and all that. And Idol is in the same week, and it's all those things the same week. I know so you're Type A, but do you ever sleep? Well, yeah, no, I'm I'm well balanced because I hike every morning, I do yoga, and I'm balanced. And I work basically ten to six, and and wow. I try to have a, a normal life Whoa. and go out, have dinner, talk to friends, laugh. I don't really watch uh, that much television. Um, 
and in terms of leisure, I watch it with a purpose. You know, I don't kind of sit and just let the TV yeah. stay on. So I like being around people and and friends, and so I'm I'm really balanced in wow. that way. Wow. But you have to move everything a little bit every day, and the f next show up gets a little more attention. And that's how sure. I do it. Yeah. What you got in your lap there, Ricky? Well, I, I have this Ken Smith signature uh it's the 15th anniversary bass well tell me about the ken smith basses why do you like them so much they are great instruments but what do you like about them well the the thing for me is it's consistent all the way up and down i mean the the there, there's no dead spots on the on the on the fingerboard all the notes are very round and open and i found that you know for many many years it was all that i played because it really changes the tone of the band and if you're the bass player that's your job to hold down that bottom and if you don't give them a solid round c a good d you know a good note each note a flat right there in the center so sonically it sounds great and then for me it just felt good and i, I guys would say well man that neck is so big you know and I, and and my uh, or they say it's heavy, you know, yeah. and I say, look, I can get used to a big neck, but I can't get used to a bad sound. Good so, point. so I wanted a bass that sounds great, and it 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 always has. I mean, I played this bass on "I Will Always Love You" with Whitney, and it's I played this bass on a lot. Of, I played this bass on uh, Barbara Streisand's new record, on three songs on that record with this bass. This you know, be, the 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 engineers love it. You just plug it in and play. It looks nice too. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So I have, I think I have, uh, I think five five Ken Smith bass. I have a four string, uh, and then I have uh, three fives and I have a six. Beautiful. Well, how about I, I wanted to say how about the future? What do you have coming up? But you you uh, outlined a, a bunch of stuff that's got to take yeah. you you know well into next year. It but, does. But I mean, long term, you've done so much, and you're still pretty young and have a lot of energy. Is there? Well, I have a lot of energy. You're right about that part. <laughs> Is there something that uh, you know? Do you have a someday aisle, or I've always wanted to, or you know, one day I'm gonna. Um. No, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of things that I like doing, but I don't spend too much time thinking one day I will and I might and I wish I could. I just do it. I just do it. So I'm doing film stuff. I'm doing TV stuff. I'm doing records. And my goal is to just make music and be happy. It's really simple. My last question, Ricky. Uh, what would you be if you were not a bass player and, and it's something outside of music? Oh, absolutely. I, I was a math computer science major at UCLA. And I thought that I would uh, be an architect. I love design. I love shapes. I love taking an empty space and, and building something. This studio was built. Uh, I built this studio. It was nothing. It was just a brick building. So... I had a great time doing that and kind of living out some of my fantasies of of, of shape, design, colors, uh, soffits, light fixtures, uh, dimensions, how things will fit. And I would come into the empty space every day and I would tape out things and I would move this and the console will go here and the outboard gear would go there and the patch bay goes here. Wait a minute, if I move it to this side, Maybe I'll have the door, you know. And so I love that. I love, I love, I still love it. Incredible. Quite an analytic mind. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is such a pleasure catching up with you, Ricky Miner. I, uh, I just, uh, beyond words, I don't know how you spin so many plates and do everything as well as you do, but uh, whatever you're doing, it works. So keep doing it. Balance. 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 You there know, you go. And just make sure there's a lot of love in your life, man. There's no time for anything else. I think that's a good note to end on. On location at the Red Lotus Studio in Hollywood, California with Ricky Miner. I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Yeah.